listen, another day, another pair of socks. Okay, two pairs of socks, which are literally like double socks. Whatever, I bought more socks. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still fail. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video talks with TJ, aka TJ2 Swoosh, T Yeezy, MA2 TJ, all of that. Thank you for tuning in to another video, and this will truly be a short one. Yeah, I got more socks. I just... It is what it is, and... Truthfully, I spend more time in the Nike app than I do the sneakers app on any given day. And I know a lot of news has come out recently about sneakers app, and their understanding of the frustration of people not being able to hit on pairs, and... Yeah, I mean, I guess when change occurs, then, you know... I guess then we'll see, but I just, um, I just can't get too crazy hung up on it. Like, honestly, I can't. The truth of the matter is when it comes to sneakers, you have so many users and still a limited amount of pairs. Now it's when they say like the deserving customers. Yeah. How can we pinpoint those deserving customers or users of the app? I guess that's where a lot of people got frustrated. I don't even bother. I go in the app if there's a shoe I want, I try, I know what the uh, outcome will be, and I just keep it moving. Now that Nike app is a different story. I'm in there all the time. You find random sales, items you never really knew released because it's not like they get pressed that way. And I'm talking more so like clothes and accessories. I think it's a really great place to go. If you're a college fan, they're always releasing items there. Um, fall is here, which means winter will arrive. So beanie season is amazing. Um, if you're looking for beanies, they always have uh, awesome selections. It's actually where I got two of my combat training beanies that I love. One is green, one is black. You guys always ask me about them in the winter when I wear them. So I actually picked those up from Nike. But today we're touching on socks now more of those double paired socks and some people are confused i think because they think oh well won't that be really hot like you're literally wearing double socks no now in the past that's what we had to do if you wanted the double swoosh double sock look you were on your own you had to actually go ahead and put on two pairs of socks which gets extremely hot especially depending on the shoe you're wearing so no this is different nike paid attention nike listened so we actually have double socks but it's double socks on the crew part not double socks for the actual insole of your foot so that's what's so special about these now i picked up two more colors this time i have i believe it's called like rattan wheat and wheat and then i also have like deep royal blue and white so for the rattan wheat and wheat what automatically went through my mind outside of other tonal pairs that i have um similar to like the social status um you know uh nike dunk I picked up, of course, if you guys remember the LeBron icon, that John Elliott collaboration he did. One of the most underrated sneakers, one of the most underrated collaborations by Nike ever, and one of the most underrated LeBrons, to be honest, or at least in my personal opinion. Um, quality on that is insane. I love the vision and the direction that John took it by also incorporating, you know, older LeBron concepts into the shoe itself. So I picked up the parachute pair from Nike when it was on sale. And then I also picked up that, uh, the pink pair. So for this parachute pair, of course, if you guys know the toe box is transparent, it has a lot of transparent, um, parts of the upper. So whatever socks you're wearing will be exposed and trying to find socks that really go well with that tonal color it's not always the easiest but nike just made it very easy for me with this new double sock so i picked that up and then finally this was a disappointment i'm not gonna lie so in my mind i thought okay i have the travis scott low get these royal blue and white socks it'll coordinate perfect except that blue doesn't match like it just doesn't so the blue on the travis scott on the fragment one low it's a different shade of blue it's just much lighter and it's different than the sock itself and it actually throws it off because those blues are would literally be right next to each other so that idea is scrapped however one of the best DVs ever, and I'm so grateful to own it now. I had to actually buy it off of uh, someone that I, that I met on, you know, Instagram. I had to, had to buy it off another, you know, woman in the game. Uh, I have the DB8. That's right, the Dornbecker 8. Um, it's not a pair I pull out a lot, which is probably a tragedy because I should definitely wear it more because Kaden did his, you know, this, this thing on there. Like, it's such an insane shoe. Uh, but I have that 
pair. So I think those blues match up a little bit better. It's more of a deeper royal blue. And if we want to talk storytelling for a second, because sometimes pairs are great and they don't really tell a story. I, I won't lie. I think the Fragment and Travis Scott is somewhat that way. It's beautifully executed, but it doesn't have a deeper story that some of us look for in sneakers versus, you know, when you see the Dornbecker, um, the freestyle collabs that come out with these kids and the, the designers by Nike and Jordan, there's so much incorporated into the sneaker itself i mean his brother's names on there you know the actual ribbon on the back and the the thumbprint and brave just there's so much incorporated into the sneaker in itself and that's why it automatically turns heads that and it's a very bright electric blue uh but i think that sock coordinates better with that uh db8 so that's probably what i'll pair it with and then find some other sneakers in the closet where it makes sense to also pair them together but if you guys are curious listen socks are readily available on nike i would say check that out i know some of you are blaming me joey was definitely blaming me one of my friends he's like thanks tj for me buying all of these socks and i don't apologize for that i'm not gonna apologize for that get your sock game up i'm trying to always get my sock game up um now there are two more socks i have on the way like that's the only thing i hit on when it comes to nike um there are two more socks i have on the way they are both jordan brand socks for women so just keep that in mind guys if you're ordering you may have to order up a size but they are for women and they they're more of that thicker style sock if you guys have ever seen like the um, the fear of God, like the chunkier knit socks. This is kind of what it reminds me of, but it looks insanely good um, on foot, with, especially with highs, I think. And if you have sweats and you let the sweats just fall right on top of the, right on top, can't talk, of the socks themselves. Uh, I think that'll be a great look for stacking. So that's my plan. Uh, I should receive those in pretty soon. And so I plan on testing them out with a few looks. And uh, also I'll probably try to get some looks off with the John Elliott icon, that parachute uh, pair now that I have some more tonal things in. Cause it's crazy. Like the Amber in the Harvest, even though I have a lighter Harvest, they go so well with that shoe if you didn't know that. So, all right, just stay tuned for that. Um, but have you picked up any of the double socks by Nike? If not, do you plan to? I'm just curious, especially if you're a sports fan. I pointed out last time they have quite a few pairs that may coordinate with your college or NFL or NBA team colors. Um, but if you like what you saw, hit the uh, subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, hit the like. I truly appreciate it. And as always, two switch crew, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.